Laura speaking to you today from Soul Henge, and I'm here to help you understand the truth about who you are. Now I'm delighted to welcome you here today to the second episode within my upgrading of the Energy Center series. And the aim of this series is to allow each of the energy centers within our bodies, which are associated with different dimensions, to be informed by the macrocosm of the dimensions exterior to us and bring this information into the energy centers so that these energy centers become fully informed on a multi-dimensional level and to merge the information within each of these energy centers with one another so that every energy center within our body has access to information about all of the other dimensions that are available. And what I'm hoping to achieve here is that you'll begin to see your intrinsic connection to everything beyond yourself. And you're going to experience a oneness as we merge all of these dimensions and all of these energy centers with one another at the end of the series. So that what you're going to really understand is how the consciousness of everything exterior to you, even other dimensions, exists within you personally. So we're going to, in a way, let go of the concepts of separation in preparation for us physically and energetically upgrading into the fifth dimension, which is all about heart-centered present moment alignment and unity consciousness. So that is the aim of the game, basically. And within this series, what I'm doing is I'm taking a lot of the techniques that I've learned through my shamanic training, which is going to allow you to absorb information from the different consciousnesses which are available in different dimensions, which are then going to inform you internally. So what we're going to be doing in this episode is working with the second energy center within your body, which is found around your lower abdomen, basically. So this energy center is associated with the color orange. And as one of the first three energy centers in the body, it's very much related to safety and our connection to the earth. Now, in the first episode, we worked with the first energy center found at the perineum, which opened opens the doorway to the connection to the iron core crystal at the center of the earth, which is the first dimension of Gaia herself. And so what we're going to be working with now is the second dimension. So that energy center is representative of the second dimension within you as the microcosm. And the macrocosm of that is the second dimension of Gaia herself. And this is everything that is found between the crust of the earth and the iron core crystal at its center. So you're looking at everything within and underneath the earth. And obviously, although um, a lot of people's current perceptions is that everything under the earth is dead and we can mine it and use it as we will, that in actuality is not the case because everything within the earth and underneath the earth Earth's crust is alive and vibrating with vitality and information. And the really interesting thing about the second dimension is how much of that is found within us. So basically, if you think of everything under the Earth's crust, all the minerals and crystals and chemicals that are found within there, we actually have all of those within our blood. So basically we have an intrinsic connection to this dimension. And what happens is as humans, when we um, you know, rape and pillage the earth and ravage the soil and dig up what we want for our own materialistic purposes, what we're in essence doing is ravaging ourselves and leaving ourselves open to destruction and illness and, loss of health and vitality. And, and so basically, as we can step into more communion with the intelligence and consciousness of what's going on within the second dimension, this is going to activate and 
enliven and enrich our own understanding about where we've come from. Because the nature of humanity, us, as three-dimensional beings existing in the third dimension is basically we've come from first the first dimension and then the second dimension and up onto the Earth's surface as third dimensional beings. So in a way, we are the descendants of all of the creatures and consciousnesses and intelligences underneath the Earth's crust. Now, also what is associated with the second dimension is the elementals and the fae the fairies of this world, the unseen creatures that many of us have actually seen or know that are there, but are not commonly known to be real. Although, of course, they've never left folklore and legend, which is all, in fact, rooted in truth. So basically, all of the elementals and all of the fae live in the second dimension. And the second dimension is also associated with all of the creatures and animals upon the earth. So the second dimension in terms of our emotions and way of being really call cool to our inner wild, if you like. They really call to our raw sense of aliveness, the savagery of what it is to be um, an animal which has no egoic constructs. So this energy center is very much associated with survival in that way because it is associated with procreation and our sexual energy. And obviously, if you're a woman, this energy center is in the place where your womb would be. And in my shamanic tradition, we consider our womb to be our first brain. It is the seat of wisdom because in a way, it's the microcosm of the macrocosm of the womb of creation which is full which is the void basically it's full of that black amniotic fluid of which everything is birthed and if you're a boy this um, energy center is associated with your testes which are in effect the same they're they're a bowl holding the potential of creation and so this energy center really is rooted in power, the power of life force creative energy and how we, even in our third dimensional egoic um, states of being, can still create life from nothing basically. So there's a lot of power within the second dimension and we see that in the wild of life. You know, we see um, the nature's might, you know, uh, uh, volcanoes erupting, um, all, of, all of the kind of extreme weather patterns and things that happen all show us the power of the second dimension. And in shamanic tradition, again, for thousands of years, the ancients have known to work with these tools. And that's why shamans often work with fire, water, air, um, to cleanse and clear and heal people. And so really, if this energy center is blocked or stuck, your vitality, your life force is going to be depleted. It's very much associated with our health. And so that's what we're going to do. We're going to really come into an intrinsic understanding of what this energy center can show us. And I think our sensuality, you know, our inner wild, the joy, the exuberance, the rawness which, which comes from all of that has been very much lost in our society today. You know, it's kind of frowned upon to be wild and free and savage and, and then do what you will for the sake of pleasure. It is kind of frowned upon. And I feel that in order to move into the fifth dimension, we have to accept and integrate those parts of us which long to be wild and free and change the boundaries of all our um, conditions that have been set upon us. So this sense, as I've said, is very sensual, it's very pleasurable, it's very joyous, it's very free. And we're really going to allow ourselves to be informed by this. So what we're going to do is very similar to the first meditation. We're going to connect to the earth and stellar stars. And we're going to do this because 
The Earth star is the iron core crystal at the center of the Earth. The stellar star is the sun. And there's a golden thread that runs between them right through the center of our body. And this is what tethers us to our place in the world and what feeds us energy. So we're basically like a battery. And those two systems, those two stars are feeding us with light frequency information that it's there are nutrients basically as energetic beings. So we're going to collect, connect to those two stars. And then what we're going to do is we're going to drop our awareness into the second energy center. We're just going to feel what that center feels like at this point without judgment. So we're just going to feel the energy within it to see if there's any colors or textures, how much we can feel of ourselves within that energy center. You know, is it blocked? So as we feel the energy within our bodies, within that center, we're then going to allow ourselves to feel the energy around our bodies from that center because also this energy center is very much connected with relationships you know it's our sexual energy center so it's very much connected with relationships to things external to us so we're going to feel the energy around our bodies and then what we're going to do is using our will and our imagination we are going to begin to speak Spin this center in a clockwise direction to activate it so that it becomes a vortex within us because all of our energy centers are in fact portals to other dimensions and in this case we're going to access the second dimension which is um, directly related to this energy center. So we're going to spin the energy center in a clockwise direction. As I said in my first video, if for some reason your energy center will not spin in a clockwise direction, you just need to pause for a moment and ask your body if it's okay for that energy center to be spinning, spinning in an anti-clockwise direction. Because although clockwise is is the norm for most people. We are in fact all unique and individual. So you may have an anti-clockwise spinning energy center. So just check in with yourself if that's what's happening to you. So we're creating this vortex within us using our will and our imagination. And then what we're going to do is we're going to allow the vortex to begin to magnetize towards itself information from the macrocosm of the second dimension. So what we're going to do is we're going to magnetize towards us all of the intelligences, all of the consciousnesses found which are associated with the second dimension of Earth herself. So that's all the microbes, the minerals, the crystals, the chemicals, the creatures and the animals of Earth herself. So the way I see this is like we're almost opening a door like Noah's Ark and I see all of this information and intelligence from these creatures and intelligences pouring into this energy center and making it kind of pregnant and full with all of that information coming from the second dimension, our ancestors, if you like, where we've come from, into this second dimensional portal within our being. So we're going to allow that information to pour in. And when that energy center is full, we are then going to take it to all of the other energy centers within our body and allow that macrocosm of information from the second dimension to inform the microcosms of different dimensions within our energy centers within the body. So we're going to drop that second energy center down that midline that I spoke about earlier into the first energy center at your perineum. And you're gonna let all of that inf information that you've just gathered inform the first energy center. Then we're gonna pull it up into the third energy center, which is found behind your navel, and it's going to inform that energy center, which is representative of the third dimension within your body, this dimension that we're now living on. And basically that information is going to inform all of these energy centers in different ways, because all of these energy centers are representative of different dimensions. So there's going to be a different relationship happening as you move up that midline and allow each energy center to be informed. 
And just to reiterate, because this is important, I'm working with the Western tradition of energy centers. We're working with eight energy centers in the body, and they're not the same as the Eastern tradition. They're the same all the way up till you get to the throat. So basically we've got the one found at your perineum, the second energy center that we're working with, the third behind your navel, the fourth in your heart, the fifth at your throat, but then it changes. The six is related to the pituitary gland. The seventh, just slightly above it, is related to the hypothalamus and the eighth is the pineal gland center within the western tradition so that's those are the energy centers that i'm working with it's slightly different but that's how i've been trained and i find that it's very effective and i've had some really really great feedback already about the first meditation that i did and activating and informing the first energy center the first dimension within the body and i have already experienced just from doing this meditation with the second energy center once with my group some quite interesting changes within my body and i'll tell you what they are as i was doing the actual meditation a buzzing insect flew into the room and landed at the crown of my head. I think what I must have done was to literally, using my intention, I was connecting with creatures of the earth, manifested that towards me and it sat on my head for about 10 minutes. And I was actually quite nervous because I didn't know if it was just like a stink bug, which, which buzzed quite loudly, whether it was actually a hornet, because there's quite a lot of sleepy hornets floating around at the moment, or a wasp. So I was doing this meditation that I couldn't stop doing with this insect sitting on my crown, but it just sat there. And then after a while, um, you know, my, my logical head kicked in and I removed it and I flew it, threw it off me, it was still buzzing. And it basically came right back and sat on my head again in a different place. And so I just left it there for the entirety of the meditation but when i finished the meditation i couldn't find it <laughs> so either i imagined it or it just manifested itself for the duration of the meditation so i must have immediately clicked into this dimensional realm within my body because it manifested as a synchronicity immediately as soon as i started the meditation and then the other quite profound thing that happened to me was at the end of the meditation shut my computer off and then I went to have a bath because I was going to bed and as I was lying in the bath basically I was looking at the tiles around the bath and basically I started to hallucinate my pineal gland was clearly activated by the second energy center so I was looking at the tiles around my bath and they began to move as if they were clouds it wasn't frightening it was actually really entertaining and interesting and what I was seeing within the within sorry within the tiles was images from the second dimension. So I was seeing the elementals, I was seeing creatures from under the earth, I was seeing all of these animals and it was like the tiles were actually moving. It was like I was having a hallucinogenic experience. It was very mild, but nevertheless, it was very, very clear and very, very real. And I realized that the second energy center had in fact activated my pineal gland and my pineal gland was receiving and informing itself of information associated with the creatures found within the second dimension. So that's my personal experience of already what is going on. And I hope that as you continue along this series, you're going to find yourself being informed about all of the other consciousnesses that we are connected to, intrinsically connected to within the cosmos and experiencing the wealth of that information and the richness of that information within our own beings. And as we understand that we're interconnected, we are going to come into unity consciousness, which is just going to be absolutely beautiful and so amazing. So I hope that has explained everything to you and that it's made sense and that it's excited you to try. And when you're ready, I'm going to ask you to take a breath in and a breath out, as always, let go of this conversation. And if you can, sit up for this meditation just purely so you don't go to sleep and when you're ready you're going to close your eyes and in the darkness behind your eyelids you're going to begin to bring all of your attention all of your awareness to the breath So you're following your breath as it weaves into your body. 
and following it as it exits your body. Allowing your attention and your breath to come into communion with one another. And just know that as you sit here in the darkness behind your eyelids, with your attention on your breath, understand that it is always here for you, always available to you in the darkness your breath. And as you breathe in, allow your breath to fill your body. And as you breathe out, allow it to relax you. Breathing in and breathing out. As within, so without. And now we're going to connect ourselves to the earth and stellar stars. So once again, bringing your awareness up into the heavens to find and seek out that golden ball of light, the stellar star, our sun, containing light, frequency, information, of the cosmos, watching over you. And dropping down from this golden star of light is a golden thread of light. And it drops down, down, down all the way through the heavens until it arrives at the crown of your head. And from here, it melts into your body, continuing on its downward path, all the way through the center of your body, connecting and touching every energy center within your body until it arrives at your perineum. And from here, it leaves your body, continuing on its downward path, all the way to the center of the earth, down, 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 until it meets another giant golden star, the earth star the iron core crystal at the center of Mother Earth Gaia, our first dimension. So just feel these two stars and that golden thread of light that runs through your central core, connecting you to the above and the below. Connecting the above and the below with every energy center within your body. Feel the light of this thread charging you up 
holding you, tethering you to your place in the world. And now, can you set your intention to activate and inform your second energy center within your body, found at your lower abdomen. So just set your intention so that your body and your whole being knows the work you are about to undertake. And now, can you consciously drop your awareness from your head brain down that golden thread of light until it lands in the second energy center at your lower abdomen. So dropping, dropping and deepening your awareness till it lands in this center. And as you land here, allowing yourself to feel all of the energy that this center occupies within your body. Feel all of the energy of this center. Observe if it has color or texture and how it feels within you. Is it vibrating? Is it still? How big is it? Noticing all of the details that you find here within this center. And now, can you expand your awareness beyond this center? and feel the energy around your body from this center. How does this center relate to the energy beyond it in space? Feel this energy all around you. And now, can you begin to spin this center within you? using your will, your imagination, beginning to spin this center in a clockwise direction, spinning and spinning and creating a vortex within you, within this center.
and can you feel the vortex expanding, becoming stronger, more magnetic, so that it begins to open like a portal, feeling more and more and more magnetic feeling the energy around it being drawn towards this portal, this vortex within the center of your second energy center. And now allowing all of the information under the surface of the earth to be drawn towards the magnetic pull of this vortex within you. Being drawn and pulled towards the microcosm of the second dimension within you and feel this movement beneath the surface of the earth as the organisms and creatures and crystals and minerals and chemicals begin to stir and move and vibrate, waking up, moving towards this vortex, the magnetic pull of the microcosm calling the macrocosm of second dimension information. Feel the consciousness of these organisms and minerals, chemicals and crystals as they draw towards and begin to fill this energy center with all of the information feel your center filling filling up with new vibration new frequency drawn from the second dimension. Feel your energy center expanding, pregnant and full from what it is receiving. And now like the doors of Noah's Ark, this center begins to magnetize towards it. The wild creative wisdom of every creature and plant, every elemental who has ever been upon the earth. Feel the roar as the consciousness of these creatures begins to pour into this center, wild, free, expressed, 
noisy, intense, chaotic, joyful and pleasurable, filling up this center, making it luminous with the wild ways of the second dimension, with the power of creativity, with the joy of creation. Feel this center filling up and up expanding, opening, waking up to the sensual pleasures of second dimension awareness and wildness. And now it is time to gather this information, this consciousness from the smallest of microbes to the largest of creatures within us. Feeling the roots of the tree of life within this center, deep, dark knowledge, entwined and immersed in the fertile soil of Mother Earth. and drawing in this information, we are now going to inform all of the other energy centers with this information. So now, can you drop this second energy center down that golden thread until it lands within the first energy center and feel as this creative information from the second dimension begins to inform the first dimension within your first energy center. Feel how your first energy center absorbs the insight the wilderness, the information from the second dimension into its being, expanding the multi-dimensionality of this first energy center merging and mingling with all the information already at its core. And now, can you draw up the second energy center up and out of the first energy center and up along that golden thread 
until it reaches the third energy center behind your navel. And as it lands in this center, can you allow all of the information and wisdom that you have gathered to inform and fill up this third energy center. The macrocosm of the second dimension informing the microcosm of the third dimension within you. Feel this information pouring in like an undammed river, roaring in with waves of wisdom of knowledge, of insight, and feel this center changing, expanding and absorbing all that it is given. And can you now draw up the second energy center, up the golden thread until it lands in the fourth energy center, your sacred heart center and feel how the second dimension informs the fourth. How the heart of your microcosm of the fourth dimension becomes filled with second dimensionality given from the macrocosm. Feel the wildness, the freedom affecting this heart center. Feel the creativity, the power expanding this heart. See all of the information blowing in like the winds of change and affecting this center, expanding its awareness, changing it forever. And now, can you draw up the second energy center into the fifth center at your throat? And can you feel the voices of the second dimension speaking to this center. Feel how they inform this center from everything they have ever known beneath the surface of the earth. The consciousness of crystals, the consciousness of minerals, 
creatures, organisms, microbes, elementals, speaking in vibrational tongues to this fifth energy center and feel how those voices affect change in this center. Give it new wisdom to speak in expanded ways of awareness, changing this center, opening it, freeing it from all constraint. And now, can you elevate the second energy center, drawing it up the midline and into the sixth energy center of the pituitary gland within the brain? And can you feel this center bringing new information to this center. The macrocosm of full awareness within the second dimension informing the microcosm of the six. and feel how the consciousness of this second dimension is changing the consciousness of the pituitary center, heightening its awareness, connecting it to the lower dimensions, opening it and allowing new vibrations to change it and make it release in new ways, bringing new ways of being for this center. And now, elevating the second energy center once again, bringing it up the golden thread just a little until it lands at the center of the seventh energy center of your hypothalamus and feel how the second dimension brings change here. Feel the consciousness of elemental information moving within this center, feeding it with information, allowing it to feel and understand the second dimension, allowing the powerful force of creation to blossom in this center. The thought forms of minerals 
to be absorbed within this center. The movements of microbes to be understood within this center. To heighten the intelligence of this center. And now, can you draw up the second energy center and place it within the pineal gland center and feel how this center begins to ignite into a new understanding and connection with the microcosm and the macrocosm of eighth and second mixed in an alchemy of information. bringing new understanding, new vibration, new seeing into this center, a new expansion and activation into this center, bringing multi-dimensionality into this center. And now, can you draw down this second energy center, down that golden thread until it lands at its place within your body at your lower abdomen. And as it lands here, feel the energy and activation of this center. And feel how this expanded and ignited energy is creating change within your body on every level of your body within your organs and systems within your cells and atoms within the quantum particles of your being Feel the vitality, the life force creation running through your whole being as this energy center informs you in a new and powerful way. And for a moment, feel the energy center below this one and the others above it, changed, activated and informed by this second energy center in turn informed by the second dimension beneath the earth's crust. And as you feel all of these energy centers within you, 
feel also the energy of your whole being now and beyond that the energy around you and the energy of the second dimension below you. And then when you're ready and taking as much time as you need coming back into the room and opening your eyes.